In today's video, I'm going to be discussing my one-year ownership of my car, 2019 BMW X6. Stay tuned. So let me give you a backstory. So I was originally looking for a G30 540 and I wanted to get the uh, B58 engine, um, well, well spec car, and then I came across this car. And, and for those who are saying, but why did you get the old shape? Well, let me tell you why. So originally, this car was driven by the corporate BMW Canada. I had a sticker price of $91,000. So last year of 2019, November, uh, the dealer in St. Catharines had this car in their inventory as a demo and, and it was for sale for $70,000. After negotiations, I was able to bring it down to $66,000. You can see I'm saving almost $30,000. This car is fully specced out. And what really sold me on this car is its interior. This car comes with the extended Napa cognac leather, which really gives the interior a premium feel. So now I'm going to be talking about the reliability. I bought this car with 9,800 kilometers, and now it's sitting at 17,500 kilometers. So I put around 8,000 kilometers over this one year. It might be low because this car was sitting due to COVID. Driving this car in one year, I haven't dealt with any mechanical issues, but I did come across some problems. So the first problem I encountered was the passenger front speaker. At high volumes, when listening to music with a lot of bass, this speaker will, will start creating a crackling noise. And depending on which song, the crackle can get really loud and sound awful. So I took that to BMW and got that replaced under warranty. So the second problem I encountered with this car was the driver rear door latch. So using the keyless entry, Every time I go to pull it, it will get stuck and it wouldn't open. And I would have to wait a good two seconds for the, for the car to unlock and then the door will open. This car has warranty, took it to BMW and got the replaced. So my third problem was, it wasn't actually a problem, I just got notified by BMW. There was a recall on the baby seat. So I think there was like a latch over here or something, you connect the baby seat and you have to fix something. I don't know really, I don't know too much about that. But that was one of the recalls BMW stated. So now I'm going to be discussing the things I don't like about this car. And the first foremost is the engine. This car comes with a 3 liter inline 6 which is also known as the N55. It puts out 300 horsepower and 300 torque. And for this car it feels very slow. Comparing it to the G05, X5 and X6 which is equipped with the B58, this car feels very lazy and sluggish. In the near future, I will plan on tuning this car to fix that problem. Another thing I don't like about this car is its braking. The brakes on this car feel very weak due to its weight, which is around 4,700 pounds. So a lot of people on the forums upgrade their brake systems by getting the X5 or X6 50i's brake calipers. Or if you get a good deal, they put on the X6 M brakes, which also looks nice because it comes with the blue painted calipers. And if I do get a good deal on those, I might consider that myself. In a lot of modern cars, wireless chargers are usually placed near the cup holders. But in this car, it's placed in the center console, right over here. Which makes it annoying when you get, get in the car, you gotta open the center console, put your phone in, close it. And when you're leaving the car, you gotta open the center console again, take it out, and then close it. Although the N55 is down on power, it does sound nice. Take a look. Take a look. <laughs> with the stock muffler. BMW sells a M performance muffler with, which gives a deeper tone, which I plan on getting that in the near future as well. Rev it a bit. I also unplugged the valve on the left side, which gives it a deeper tone. So after driving this car for one year, I really appreciate the, the tech that comes with this car. Here are some examples. I like the functionality of the heads-up display. You can go through your music, you can go through your phone book, you can use the GPS. I like the iDrive unit, it's very easy to use, very sophisticated. It has a lot of features such as live traffic, news, weather reports, and it has BMW connected. So you can download the app on your phone, you can locate the car, you can turn on the AC or heater, you can lock or unlock the car. Well, and a cool feature on the app, you can see how much uh, gas you have left in your car. And my car is very low on gas right now. It only has 14 liters left. I also like the adaptive high beam assist, which is very useful at night where there's very minimal of light. And this car has soft closed doors on all four doors. And the 360 camera, which, which is very helpful when parking in tight spaces. So I came to the realization that this car's tech is future-proof approximately for, for another, another five years. 
And if you think about it, a lot of new cars are starting to add these features, such as the high beam assist and, and so on. Like I mentioned before, I really like the summer wheel setup. It's, it comes with the style 599M BMW wheels. Fronts are 285s, rears are 325s, 21 inch. It's the same setup in an, in an XXM. Also when driving this car with the summer wheels, the car feels planted. It handles very nice for an SUV. Last And lastly, this car and many other BMWs are coding friendly. So you can add a lot of custom features, such as playing music videos on your screen or this cool M logo startup. And I'll make another video and more in depth and on, on what kind of coding I got done to this car. So overall, I haven't had any major reliability issues as this car is fairly new. One thing I suggest, if you're gonna get an X5 or an X6 that is three or four years old, it, to get the extended warranty, because these cars do come with common problems such as the such as oil leaks, head gaskets, coils. But like I said before, it is the best bang for its buck. You get a lot of tech. And I personally really enjoy driving this car. If you guys enjoyed my video, I would really appreciate if you hit that like button. And for those that aren't, aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And see you in the next video.